Shalom, everybody. Rabbi Edelstein back again with another installment of Rabbi Ian 3, brought to you, as always, by Moor DC. Find us on Facebook or at, or at meordc.com. And uh, my younger daughter, Miriam, Mimi, um, mentioned to me that she really thought that uh, the production quality of these videos should be better. <laughs> I don't know the exact wording she used. It was funny. Um, and perhaps she, she was interested maybe in filming me um, in our living room upstairs uh, where there's books and it's a more cozy atmosphere. So maybe, no promises, we don't do things like that at Rabbi Ian 3. We tell it like it is, like Rabbi Ian 3, really 3, I'm going to do that. We tell it like it is, say what we mean. So I'm not promising that we'll have um, a new venue, a new studio setting, but we might. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Um, you know, it's interesting. How am I going to tie that into tonight's video? I don't know. But maybe it's because you might say, well, that's a small thing. You know, it really is kind of a small thing, you know, what the background is um, for a video like this. But the theme of tonight's Rabbi Ian 3 is there really no small things? Or rather, we often mistakenly call a gesture or a word or an action or a mitzvah small when we have no idea really how big it is or it might be. Uh, why did I think of that now? Because as m many of you might know, I'm still in the Shloshim period, the third 30 week, uh, 30, sorry, 30 day period of mourning after the passing of my fa father, my dear father, Shalom Zev Ben Getzel. And um, I've been struck in this period by so many nice gestures and so many comforting words that people have done for me or spoken to me. And I'm not talking about big gestures. No one bought me a car. I don't think, no one bought me, you know, I mean, well, they, the people did make food for us during Shiva Week, and that's incredible, and that is big. But I just mean a note here, a call here, people I hadn't heard from in a long time. Um, and, and I've just been struck by how a small, quote unquote, word, gesture, act of friendliness goes a long, long way, has gone a long, long way to comfort me in these weeks, in these days that are hard. Um, and, and really, that's a theme I've talked about up in the past, and Judaism talks all about. There are no small gestures. There are no unimportant moments in life. Every moment has potential to, for us to achieve greatness, to, to give goodness to others every moment, every interaction. We really uh, fool ourselves, maybe tragically, when we think of uh, life as mostly consisting of big moments and big gestures. No, no, no. The, our real character is formed in the, the quote-unquote little things. And in Shemayim, in the heavenly realm, there's no little things. Every good word, every good deed, every good thought has an impact. That's what the Jewish mystical rabbis teach us, and that's what the truth is. So I thank everyone out there uh, and everywhere else who's done so many small, big things for me in the last few weeks. And that's something maybe we'll tie into Passover next week. But I'm keeping my word. We're, 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 we're in three. We're not at four. Have a wonderful Shabbos. Every word, every moment, every good thought, every detail. Beautiful, beautiful and very big. Good Shabbos.